Okay, today we are going to have a look at the, the tool we have, the small scale carrier optimal vessel size calculator, which uh, we use for, to show people what is the right size for, for the ship that they will need for the project. Uh, this is a very simple tool and, uh, and we have all the tools that we use internally for much, much more complex uh, projects, but it, it will give you a very rough idea about what you need. Uh, is the, the information here in the web page is pre-populated, pre so you will have some information just to play with. But let's start with, with, with this. Actually, this number is the one that we are looking for. So we should change some of the other data and see what, what vessel size we need. So let's assume that we are loading. We only have, for instance, let's delete this one because we only have one. We delete these two data, these two numbers, the distance in miles and volume per year for the second port, because let's assume that we only have one load and one discharge port. So we are going to load from this load port to this port one, and let's assume that we are we have a distance of, let's say, I don't know, 330 miles. Um, all this will be calculated automatically, and then we will have to, to take the volume of LNG that we are going to move per year. Um, this, of course, is the volume of liquid, uh, natural gas, that we are going to move. Let's put that we have to move 250,000 cubic meters um, uh, per year. And this, will, this information with these three numbers that we have selected here will give us the total time needed in days. So we will need 141 days, assuming all this data is like this. So what we have to do is play now with the size of the ship. So if that is 140, what happens if we have a 4,000 cubic meter ship? We change this. A 4,000 cubic meter ship will uh, be employed by 280 days, which is still less than, than a year. So let's see what happens with a 3,000. And this is the way to calculate basically what we need. 3,000 is too small, so we would probably have to be looking at a 3,2, something like that. 3,2, 350 uh, days a year of employment, which is close to 365. So it's, uh, that should be about the size of the ship that, that we need. In here, then, we can play with things. I put a 10 knots speed, which is relatively slow. Let's, let's see that we put 12 knots uh, for the speed, and we'll see how the numbers change. Now we only have employment for 315 days. And then loading time, I put for 24 hours, which is a bit slow also, let's put 18. And discharge, 18 hours, okay, that's okay. Uh, this is the way you have to play with the numbers to, to come, I mean, you have to go back and forth between the different numbers to see what is the right optimal size for your ship. Uh, of course, if we have two load ports, the numbers get a bit complicated. If we have uh, some season seasonability on the demand, the numbers will change. And this is the way to, to play. In this case, probably we can go back to 3,000 and, and then this, this will be closer, less, um, to 800, uh, even, even a smaller ship. So you can see that the, the speed of the ship has a big influence in the number of... Uh, 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 in the size of the ship that we need at the end. So, but all this, as I was saying, uh, is for steady demand, no seasonability, only one to one port, and, and very simple um, uh, model. If you want uh, more complex uh, scenarios and you want to see what is the right size for your small LNG project, please uh, let us know and uh, let us uh, hire us and let's work on your, pro on your project.